Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby. I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today we're going to do another great full body strength training workout you can do in your home with minimal equipment, minimal space, and easy to follow directions. Remember to come into these workouts warmed up and ready to move. Five to ten minutes of a cardio workout just to get your heart rate up a little bit. Very importantly, get your muscles and joints warmed up and ready for movement and your mindset ready for movement. So today we're going to need about a medium weight set of dumbbells. We're going to do some chest flies with a bridge on the ball. So a fit ball. If you don't have a ball, you can do this on the floor or on your bed. Um, we're also going to need a TheraBand and then a tube set up in a higher position, probably about a medium weight. It's, every band company is different, so it's hard to say. Um, and also everybody is different in their needs for strength. And then either a pillow or a small um, playground ball. I think that's it. Okay, so we're gonna walk out to a bridge on the ball. You want your head and shoulders resting comfortably on top. We're going to do chest flies. So keep those hips raised. Bring those weights all the way up to the side and straight back overhead. Now, if this is really hard, obviously pick a different weight or you can bend your elbows and that shortens your lever, making it a little bit easier on your joints. Keep those hips up, keep breathing. Nine, one more, and 10, good. We'll walk back up, take a second if you need to, make sure you're not lightheaded or dizzy, and I'm gonna rack my weights to keep them out of my way. <clears throat> okay, the next one we're gonna do are reverse lunges. So stand next to somewhere sturdy, um, if you've never done these before, particularly uh, stand at like your kitchen sink or something so you can step back. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back. You want to be like you're going to kneel down. So this 90 degrees, 90 degrees. You want your weight in this front heel. So you, when you look down, you want to be able to see your toes. So if you're out here, that's too far and that's really dangerous for your knees. So you want to stay back in your heel here. That's the most important part of a lunge. Now you can hang on to a weight um, in one side and then just alternate halfway through um, and maybe turn around, but depending on where your source of stability is. Okay, switch hands if you are holding a weight. Remember you're going back and then straight down, keeping that weight back. Protect those knees, glance down every now and then, make sure you can see your toes, and rest. Okay, good. Next we're gonna do standing hamstring curls. Now, I want you to try it without any equipment first, um, but if you want to, you can add ankle weights or a loop band, but try it this way first. So I want you to stand, and you're gonna curl your leg back like this. Now, importantly, Keep your knees in the same, keep your knees together. It's easy when people do hamstring curls to kind of do this. They're curling their leg up. This isolates your hamstrings a lot more by keeping that knee in line with your other knee, straight down from your hip. Now, if you feel like after your first set, if you need to add something, that's fine. And 10. All right, switch sides. Curl back. Keep these knees in line with each other. And then go nice and slow as well. I have a feeling this will be challenging enough. But like I said, if you want to add ankle weights, that's okay. You could also add a loop band, but that's hard. Sometimes it kind of rolls up your leg. And 10. Good. All right. Next, we're gonna do reverse flies with this TheraBand that I have here. And I'm gonna have you do them in an X pattern. So let's do it with a little balance. So do a tandem stance, hold it straight out from you, and we're gonna pull back in an X. As you pull back, 
Still keep those shoulders down and think about squeezing your shoulder blades. Five. Squeeze back. Seven. Now, even though you're raising your arm over your head, remember to keep those shoulders down. Might want to check it out in a mirror if you have one, maybe in a bathroom nearby. And 10, good. Okay, next we're gonna do triceps extension. So I have this band looped through the top of my door um, with handles on both sides. And I want you to bring them down so your elbows are stuck in your sides. We're gonna isolate your triceps right in the back of your arm. So you're gonna straighten your elbows down near your hips and then come slowly back up. Three, four. Now don't let those elbows go forward. That's really common. Isolate those triceps. Keep your shoulders down. Nine and ten. Okay. All right, we're going to end on the floor. And this is where your ball or your pillow comes in. You're going to lie down with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Now, this is where we're going to really focus on keeping your back flat to the floor. So, kind of a little posterior pelvic tilt, flatten your back, and we're going to try to hold that. Put that knee, that ball between your knees, and we're going to lower it and then bring it back up. Give it just a little bit of a squeeze. You don't have to squeeze it hard. Right here is where it's hard to keep your back flat. Really work hard. Try not to put your feet down if you can. Let's do three more. Nine. And 10. Of course, you can always do a few more if you are feeling like you would like to. All right, go through all of these one or two more times, add a little cardio in between, get that heart rate up and calorie burn, and then at the end, cool down and do a good stretch. If you have any questions or need any modifications, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, have a great workout and we'll see you next time. Thanks everybody.